Hi folks, Gavin here from Player TV, and today I'm taking a look at the X299 Gaming Pro Carbon AC from the guys over at MSI. This is the latest motherboard to be released to the market from MSI, and obviously it is an absolute thing of beauty. Now, although we're waiting for our CPUs to come in from Intel, because this, as you're probably aware, this is a release that's probably... Um, very controversial for Intel, um, especially with AMD's solutions on the market and um, with Zen. But anyway, let's take a look at this board and see what it's got um, and what it's got about it because it's got a very, very, very nice aesthetic. It's got a very, very nice black and silver contrast and design on the heatsink. It's got a fully black PCB. It's got eight DIMM slots, which obviously support quad channel um, with the i9 series from X299 um, with a lot of diff different variations and features from the X99 platform it is literally the new enthusiast platform for those wanting more cores and more power not to be detracted from that at all Intel are releasing some quad core CPUs to go with it as well so you have got an entry level onto the platform itself now this particular board has plenty going for it obviously this is the first time that i've seen it as well obviously i've had a little look at it i've had a little play um but i'm not allowed at the right this second i'm not allowed to talk about the intel cpu or performance but bearing that in mind there's a lot of things that are good about it and um, first of all msi include some extra heat sinks as well because it's got removable covers on the heat sinks so you can simply remove them and you can change the aesthetic of your board. Now, they've included gold and silver, so you can gold it up, you can silver it up, or you can leave it with the, the standard black ones it comes. But MSI being a very, very good, nice, very nice company, have actually created some special heat sinks for us with our, obviously, Play TV logo on it. So we've got a Play TV motherboard, which is absolutely fantastic to see. And as you can see, although they've included gold and blue it would have been nice to have orange but i'm not going to complain because you know you can't buy these and it's nice and it comes in a nice presentation box but anyway you don't get that only i get that so i'll just throw that down so board itself it has an eight pin cpu 12 volt power with an additional four pin for extra overclocking prowess a bit better power stability and it allows the board to draw more power from the power supply than a standard 8 pin would. Obviously, you've got um, four PCI free um, Gen 3 times 16 lanes. You've also got two PCI times one lanes as well. And they've included M.2 shield. Now, there was a little bit of controversy with the M.2 shield from Gamer Nexus. I don't know if you've watched the video. If you have, um, let us know in the comments below. But they've improved it even further, so there should be no problems with thermal throttling. Although I never experienced the problem at all with any of the previous boards um but obviously apples and oranges there so touching more on the board itself we've got plenty of sata ports we've got six sata three ports which is six gigabits a second and um, we've also got a u.2 port we've got dual m.2 with dual m.2 shield as well which is nice it's obviously lga socket 2066 which it's obviously an x299 board um plenty plenty to go about it um main differences really between x99 and x299 they've increased the um digital um direct media interface so we're now on dmi 3.0 um which offers a lot more bandwidth than you know the previous iteration of DI dmi 2.0 um now the x series processor is going to support up to 12 cores 24 threads um, so if you are looking for a very good looking board, you want plenty of um, aesthetic beauty, it's absolute stunning board itself, um, then obviously this is going to be one of the boards at launch that you're going to be looking at. Um, and in terms of aesthetics, what more can you really ask for other than RGB, which this board has thanks to MSI's Mystic Light. Now, one thing about the X299 platform, and obviously the Gaming Pro Carbon AC from MSI supports this as well, is Intel's Optane technology. Now, this was previously only 
released in the you know the past couple of months and it was mainly meant for the Z270 platform it wasn't available on any other platform well this is now the second platform that supports it so if you want a bit of boost on your storage capacity it's not meant to replace your SS you're not meant to replace your SSD as such but it will increase the likes of the the, the performance of a, a standard hard drive um, now the board itself as I've said it has removable heatsink covers it has Mystic Light and it will sync with other components as well and other compatible RGB devices. It's got 3D X mounting. So what you can do is you can get custom 3D parts made heatsink. You can even make the heatsink yourself and have custom designs. So kind of like what Asus and Republic of Gamers on MSI, they're, they're doing the same thing. And it's, it's very good for those who want full customization, but not too compat, not compatible, it's the wrong word, but too um, confident in modding boards because obviously modding equals voiding your warranty. So it has, as I've said, two net times next gen shields. It's got Intel's LAN, um, so it's got RJ45 F in it as all boards have. It's got built-in Wi-Fi as well. It's got, um, as I mentioned, the U2 turbo socket for the next gen of storage devices. And obviously it supports up to um, 128 gig of DDR4 2666. Obviously, you can push further. You can have better, faster modules with overclocking. How the chips themselves, the in, the internal memory controllers, how they cope with, you know, large capacity modules and high speeds is, you know, in the air at the moment. But we will be doing a full review of this particular motherboard and all the X299 boards as well to obviously give you a little more insight into the performance of the chips. Now. To obviously finishing up a bit, um, one of the great things about Intel's X299 platform and, you know, the MSI version, the Gaming Pro Carbon, it's a very, 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 very sweet and sexy option. And I'm going to be using this board, you know, religiously. This is going in my main rig. Um, what kind of testament do you want to that? Um, doesn't get better than that, really. But it has plenty of connections there. Basically, with X299 over X99, they've increased the native USB 3 ports on the board and reduced the USB 2 ports. So we're starting to phase it. We're starting to phase USB 2.0 out now completely. And I expect the next platform will, you know, completely eradicate USB 2 because USB 3 is obviously backwards compatible, but you can't up. You know what I mean? You can't. It's better to have the faster part and not use it than have a slow part and need the faster part. So yeah, but yeah, looking at the board, it's fantastic. It's customizable. You know, the heatsink covers are removable. Let's just remove one here. So it clips off very easily. You can put, you know, likes of the gold one on. It's just simply a case of clicking it into place. And there we go. So now, obviously, I've just customised this board and it's taken three seconds. Now, a modder, it would take a bit longer than that. But yeah, it's a fantastic looking board. I can't wait to see the performance. And yeah, this has been a preview of the MSI X299 board, the Gaming Pro Carbon AC to be exact. I've been Gavin from Play TV. Let us know in the comments below if you want more preview, preview videos and overview videos like this. Obviously, we will be back with the full review when Intel send our CPUs to us. Um, but for now, I will leave you on this. Obviously supports NVIDIA SLI and Crossfire as well, just have to mention that. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the CPU, the CPUs at the moment because it's, you know, I haven't got them, so I'm not going to speculate until I can, I don't speculate, I give you opinion and fact based on what I know. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and girls and folks. And Apache helicopters, ciao for now.